Welcome. Today I'm going to put you through on how to use OneDrive on iPhone. Okay. If you work in an organization, you can have OneDrive installed on your iPhone so that anytime you're not in the office and you want to complete simple tasks, you can easily do that using the mobile version. As an individual, you can also install OneDrive on your iPhone for you to carry out some tasks so easily. So let's get started on how you can do that. Okay, I'm on my iPhone right now. So let's go ahead and install OneDrive. Okay, so I'll tap on App Store and then search for OneDrive. Then I'll tap on search. As the OneDrive shows up in the search results, you can see that Microsoft OneDrive, I'll tap on download for it to download. After downloading, it will install automatically on my iPhone. All right, after the installation, open the app, okay? Import your files from Dropbox and Google. I say maybe later, okay? I don't want to import anything at this point, okay? Here, I'm logging automatically because I have used OneDrive on this my iPhone. But you can log out and then log in with any email address of your choice that is linked to OneDrive. And for it to log out, click on your profile, then select settings, then select your email, then select sign out, okay? Okay. Then this signs me out and then I will sign in with another email. So here I'll type the email address, okay? In your own end, do the same thing. After typing your email address, log in. Then enter your password here, okay? Then tap sign in, okay? And here I am signed into my OneDrive, which I want to use for this tutorial, all right? Then let's start some task. The first is the tabs at the bottom part of the OneDrive interface. You have home, you have files, you have camera, you have shared, you have photos, okay? By default, you're landed on the home tab. If you want to access your files, tap files, okay? On this files tab, you can see some files I have uploaded on this platform, all right? So now let's go on and add more files here, all right? For you to add a file on OneDrive, tap on this plus sign at the top right, okay? Then select upload. Then select browse. Okay, this opens the file explorer, or let's say the files section of your iPhone, all right? So you can see it shows documents and the rest, some files I have there, but you have some options also. We are placed on recent, but if you want to select any file of your choice from your iPhone, tap on browse. Okay, now this opens the folders you have on your iPhone. Let's say the file I want to upload here is in Excel. So I will tap on the Excel option and then select any of the files. And this file is being uploaded on my OneDrive. It has been uploaded. You can see that boys and girls, that's the title of the Excel file. All right, so if you want to import maybe something like photos or videos on OneDrive, just how you would do it still tap on the files and select the plus sign at the top right, select upload. Okay, now you have the options photos and videos browse cancel. So our interest is to upload photos or videos on this platform. So I will tap on the option photos and videos then we grant that access by tapping on the option allow full access okay okay this opens my piece this opens my iphone showing some photos and videos that are available here so let me go with the option recent okay then you can see some photos and videos i have here so let's say i want to upload one of these pictures I'll tap first for it to be selected and then tap done. And the photo is uploading. And we are done uploading the photo, okay? So if you want to create folder, maybe you want to organize some special files on this OneDrive, tap on the plus sign, select the option, create a folder. And then give the folder a name. 
Here, let me call it finance, okay? After you are done giving the folder a name, tap create button. Now, a folder named finance is created automatically here and it opens immediately. To so upload some files inside this finance folder, tap on the plus sign at the top, okay? Select upload. Then select the option browse. Then get to a section of your iPhone where the file you want to upload here is saved. Okay, so let's say I want to upload this uh, file named LSC name. Okay, so I'll tap on it and it's being uploaded on OneDrive. And here we are, you can see the file has been uploaded on my OneDrive folder named Finance. So let's get to the file section again. On your OneDrive mobile app, you can take pictures or record videos directly from there okay for you to do that tap on the plus sign and select take a picture and select take a photo or video tap okay to grant access now this opens the camera of my iphone i can decide to take a picture here or i can decide to record video by tapping on the video option okay so but here let's assume i want to take a picture of this part of my room okay i'll tap on capture and tap the option use photo and with this action this photo will be uploaded on my onedrive mobile app if i upload it okay that is that see the photo here and that is that you can create some office files from here maybe you want to create word file or excel or powerpoint you can do that right from this onedrive application and for you to do that tap on plus and then select which kind of file you want to create is it word you want to create is it excel you want to create or is it powerpoint you can see the options here so let's assume i want to create a document here so I'll select the option word document just hold on for the document to open and here the document has opened so tap on the pen icon for you to start creating what you want okay so i can say the importance of one drive okay so you know the type of document you want to create what you want to have in the document just easily create that and after you are done creating it tap on done okay and the beautiful thing is that once you do this this file is automatically saved on this one drive okay so you don't have to pass through the stress of trying to upload it on the platform again okay so here is the document you just created here document 20 23 and the rest okay so this is how you can create files right from your one drive we have personal words here so you can access it maybe you have some special files you want to upload on one drive maybe driver's license based certificate or international passport just go through personal votes okay it requires extra level of security so but for the purpose of time let's not just go details about that okay in detail okay let's talk about another tab that is a onedrive mobile app so and that is the tab after files that is camera so if you want to take camera if you want to record or take snapshot automatically just tap on the camera okay and position your camera properly and then capture whatever area you want to capture all right so that is that and it will be saved automatically okay so you can reshape it after that just position it the way you want it and then tap confirm okay done and this file is then saved so tap on save us okay under save us you can change the name or you can leave it the way it is so tap on the good icon if you want to see the files you shared with some persons from your OneDrive, just tap on the shared icon. On this shared tab, you can find out that there is no file you shared with someone from here, okay? For you to see all the photos that you took or you upload on your OneDrive that are existing on this OneDrive account, tap on the photos tab, okay? Here you can see all the photos that are being uploaded on this platform okay then from here you can also turn on the camera upload okay 
So maybe you want all the files that are existing on your phone, all the pictures and the videos to be uploaded automatically on your OneDrive account. Just tap on the turn on button, all right? Or maybe anytime you take picture or you take uh, record a video, you want that to be uploaded automatically on OneDrive. Just tap on the top on button. But I don't want that because it will consume my data. Okay, let's talk about how to delete some files from OneDrive. For you to delete a file, you have to tap on the Files tab, okay, which is where we are currently. Then tap on the three dots, and you can see some options: Share, Delete, Make Available Offline, and the rest. Here, I want to delete this file, so select the Delete option. Delete. If you want to share the file you have on OneDrive with somebody else, just tap on the Files tab as usual. So ensure you are there. Tap the three dots close to the file you want to share. All right. And then select the share option then here you can select how you want to share the file maybe you want to share the file as a text message to somebody which is the first option here or you want to share using the airdrop app or messages or mail or mail or free form or notes any application you want to share to or maybe you want to share to somebody by on whatsapp as well just tap on the more option and you will see more apps okay select how you want to share it here i want to share through whatsapp okay so whatsapp has been selected so i have some contacts here so let's say i want to share to this person i'll tap on the name and then select next and then select send okay so this person will get this file in his uh whatsapp accounts once you click on the link he will be able to view the file fully okay you can also rename files that you have already uploaded on OneDrive. For you to rename a file, tap on the three dots close to the file. Then from the options there, you can see rename this file. So select the option and then give the file a name of your choice. Okay. So let's say I want to call this my pick. All right. So after you assign the name, tap on done. And that file is saved. Okay. With a new name. So there are some other tasks you can complete on a file you have on your OneDrive. All you need is just to tap on the three dots close to that file and you will see some options, okay? So let's, for example, I want to find the details about this uh, file. I'll tap on details. If I want to move this file from the major my files tab to a special folder, all right? I'll tap on the move option, okay? So this displays some folders I have already created on my OneDrive. So maybe I want to move it into education. I will tap the education option and then select move. Okay. So you have so many options. You will see once you click on the three dots close to a file. So you can carry out some tasks uh, for that task from that end. Okay. So let's talk about the recycle bin. Okay. The recycle bin is a special folder you have on OneDrive where any file you delete from your OneDrive account is placed. Okay. So the file remains in recycle bin for a period of about 30 days, which after if you don't recover the file or restore the file back to its main folder, it will be deleted automatically, okay? For it to access recycle bin, tap on your profile, okay? Then tap on the option recycle bin. Here is a file and a folder we deleted from our OneDrive account. So if, for example, I want to restore the first file, I will tap on that. And then select the option restore okay also if you want to delete a file that you have in recycle bin permanently so that it doesn't stay in recycle bin tap on the picture dots and select the option delete then it asks you delete this item it will be permanently deleted from onedrive just tap on the delete option and here this file is gone forever it's not going to be found anywhere on onedrive so this is just the guide on how to use OneDrive on iPhone. Remember, the more you practice, the more you get used to the mobile application. Okay, thank you for staying to the end. So these are just all the basic things you need to know about the use of Microsoft OneDrive on your iPhone. If you want to know more, I have a book in the description. You can buy the book from Amazon. So I have read the book and it's excellent. It will put you through on all the things you need to know about Microsoft OneDrive, okay? 
all right if you find this guide helpful please do well to hit that like button for me okay subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already and leave a comment see you next time